Hello, let me greet you in the wonderful name of Jesus our Lord. It's lovely to come together to worship God in spirit and in truth, knowing our total dependence on him and his total faithfulness. We are assured that he will provide all our needs and will bring us into victory time and time again. Let's celebrate, let's worship together um, as we spend time now in praise and worship together. And then we'll be hearing a powerful word from wonderful man of God, Paul Bowen. God bless you. My Jesus rose the waters by. Welcome from the Pilgrim Church once again. It's really great that you can join us to share in the precious words of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. And his words we know are to the benefits of our everyday life. So God bless you and thank you so much for connecting with us to share in the word of God. Just going to say a prayer now. Please join me. Thank you, holy and awesome God. 
that your presence is everywhere and you prove yourself mighty and strong in the midst of all nations, in the midst of all nations, regardless of who they claim to be. All honour and praise to your glorious and majestic presence as we share in your words today, in Jesus Christ's name, Amen. Thanks for joining us. Our message for this morning, I've entitled this message, Christ is the restoration, the healing and the blessing in the midst of your city and your nation. Let me say that again. Christ is the restoration, healing and blessing in the midst of your city and your nation. Up to this moment in time, one of mankind's most frequently asked questions is why people are treating one another and treating each other so badly? And why are human beings so dishonest with each other? Why the violence, the hate, the lack of respect, abusive behavior from out of nowhere? No matter where you go in the city or around the nation of Great Britain, there are serious problems. We can all see that. There are serious problems everywhere. And it's not what we really want to be seeing. We want to be seeing people treating one another well, treating one another with respect. People in the busy built up areas of the city are struggling with all types of issues. And I would like to think that if I wanted to escape from all the troubles that, that are happening in the city, I would like to think I could get away and maybe go to a, an outlying village or out to the countryside somewhere to get some peace and take some refuge and just get away from all the trouble that's happening in the city. But what I've come to realize over time is that there are serious problems everywhere. There are serious problems everywhere. The smaller or the less populated villages of our city and country are having the same issues just like everybody else, wherever you go in the country. So whether you're a small village or a larger village, or you're from the city, large city or small city, it doesn't matter. You're all having the same types of issues and problems. Now, even those living in the very wealthy suburbs are having serious problems. They are having really serious problems. And even though there might be different types of crimes that may take place in certain areas, there are crimes all the same. People are hurt all the same. People are upset and offended all the same. So it doesn't really matter where you go. So again, even those living in the wealthy suburbs are having serious problems and can't find answers to some of life's most serious questions. I'm sure we've all noticed that it doesn't matter about location. And I know you know where I'm going with this. It doesn't matter about location. It doesn't matter about culture. It doesn't matter about status in life. It doesn't matter about what religion you may be involved in. It doesn't matter how educated you are or whether you are educated or not. And it doesn't even matter about a person's political persuasion. Even if you take all those things into account. It doesn't matter location, status and what have you. But guess what? Guess what? There is a real. Rock solid definite, stable, and sure solution to the most severe issues taking place in our city and in our nation. 
There is an answer. There are answers to some of life's most serious questions. And many people are asking questions. Yes, I mean non-religious people. People who don't like religion. People who don't like conversations about God. People who don't like any conversation about spiritual subjects. Some people who like conversations about spiritual subjects, but don't want to talk about God. And don't want to even mention the name of Jesus Christ. Um, but concerning the answers to all these questions, the Pilgrim Church would really like to share and express with you confidently and we want to express proudly and to proclaim to you the glorious, absolutely glorious and incomparable name, an incomparable authority of Jesus Christ and that Jesus Christ is the solution to the problems in your city. Jesus Christ is the solution to the problems in your nation. Jesus Christ is the solution and the answers to those little problems that you're seeking answers to. Jesus Christ is the answer. And there are maybe a bit bigger problems that you're having. I want to tell you that the Pilgrim Church declares to you that Jesus Christ is the answer to those slightly bigger problems. And if you have, you know where I'm going with this, but if you have problems that are a bit bigger or even bigger still, or major issues, if you have major problems, or major, major problems, the Pilgrim Church can declare to you that the issues that you may be having that are major, Jesus Christ is the answer to all those issues. You may have to take some steps to try and sort some of these things out. But keeping Jesus Christ, his rules, his laws, his wisdom, his guidance, applying yourself to him, following his right way of doing things is the answer to many of our issues within our homes, our cities, villages and towns, our country. Jesus Christ is the answer. The Pilgrim Church proudly and confidently declares to you at this time Jesus Christ is the answer to all of our problems in our city and nation. Cannot say that enough. So we the Pilgrim Church like many other churches across this city and country are always praying for our country. We are always praying for our governments, like many, many good, strong churches across this country of Great Britain. We are praying for this nation. We are praying for this country. We pray for our governments. We pray for them that they would be guided by the grace of God to stand up, to really stand up and stand strong for what is right in guiding this nation. And we the Pilgrim Church, through this streaming and rec or recorded broadcast, if you're watching the Pilgrim Church through recorded broadcasts, we speak to the young people of this nation especially the gang leaders, and I just want to touch on knife crime for a little bit, which is blighting some of our communities, 
So we speak to the gang leaders and their gang members where knife crime is concerned and where it, and where it has devastated homes and families and devastated the lives of young people. Young people, we appeal to you. Put down the knife. Put down the knife. Young people, put it down. Put down the knife. Put down your gun. Put down your weapons that you want to use on the street to opposing gang members. Put it down. You don't need the knife. You don't need the gun. Put it down. In fact, don't just put it down. Throw it away. Throw away the knife. Throw away the gun. You simply do not need it. And when you throw it away, throw it away to never pick it up again. Throw away your street weapons. Throw away your knives. Throw away your guns. To never pick them up again. Young people, we urge you to turn to the one who is much more positive and powerful than the knife or the gun or the whatever type of street weapon you want to carry. We urge you to turn to the one who is much more powerful and more positive than the knife or gun you want to carry. Turn to the one who is more positive and more powerful. Turn to the one through the power of the Holy Spirit who will change and transform your life. He will transform your life. He will transform your fortunes. This is the truth, the God-given, Christ-given truth. He will transform your life. He will transform your fortunes. Young people, the street life will eventually destroy you. The street life that seems so glamorous is destructive. It will hurt you, your brothers, your sisters, your mothers, your fathers. It hurts. It will hurt you. It will hurt. You don't need it. You really don't need the street life. You do not need the gun and the knife. You don't need the violence. It is destructive. The street life is destructive and it will destroy you. Lay down your weapons. Throw them away to never pick them up again. Jesus Christ is the answer to your violence. Jesus Christ is the answer to the necessity of guns. Guns aren't necessary. Knives aren't necessary. Jesus Christ is necessary. Jesus Christ is crucial to your life. Instead of carrying the gun and the knife on the street, take up the message and the knowledge and the power of Jesus Christ. Because as the pilgrim church, we bring Jesus Christ to the streets. Jesus Christ is the greatest power and authority on the streets. Try him. Try him. Try him. Take him up. Try him. Try the power of the Holy Spirit. Try the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Lay down your weapons. The most powerful weapon on the street is Jesus Christ. Young leaders who recruit young people to accomplish your plans. Yes, gang leaders. I say it again. Gang leaders across our city across the city of Nottingham, gang leaders across the nation of Great Britain. Drop your street plans. Drop them. In the name of Jesus, drop your street plans. Drop them. Put your street plans to one side and turn to the presence and power of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ will forgive your sins. Jesus Christ will give you power to turn away from sin and godlessness. The power of the Holy Spirit is very real in this world. It will change your desires. It will change the very direction of your life. The power of the Holy Spirit will change everything. 
even on the street. Jesus Christ is the transforming power, renewing power, the refreshing power that you need for your life as a gang leader and as a gang member. May God break your hold on the street. May God break your hold concerning the gangs. May God break your hold concerning violence. And may Jesus Christ be the one who takes over. Jesus Christ breaks strongholds of violence. Jesus Christ breaks the stronghold of the knife and the gun. Jesus breaks the stronghold of gang and street life. Jesus Christ breaks the hole. If you are caught up in the gang life and you cannot get out, talk to Jesus Christ. Talk to him. His power is real to set you free. Turn away from the street life and the gang life and turn to the power of Jesus Christ. If you remain in the gang, include the power of Jesus Christ. Get rid of your gun. Get rid of your knife and turn to the presence and power of Jesus Christ. I just want to take you to a scripture today. Titus chapter 2. Verse 11 and 12 and 14. Titus chapter 2 verse 11, 12 and 14. I'll just quickly read that. For the grace of God has been revealed, bringing salvation to all people. And we are instructed to turn from godless living and sinful pleasures. We should live in this evil world with wisdom, righteousness and devotion to God. And verse 14 says, he gave his life, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, he gave his life to free us from every kind of sin, to cleanse us and to make us his very own people totally committed to doing good deeds. This is the message to us from Titus. Today, Jesus Christ is still placing that message in our hearts. And is asking us again in Matthew 4 verse 17. Repent of your sins. Repent of your sins and turn to God, for the kingdom of heaven is, is near. This simply means that when you make a decision to give up your evil ways and turn wholeheartedly to Jesus Christ, you will begin to experience the love and the mercy and the refreshing presence and power of Jesus Christ in your life. This is the same for any and every person who turns to Jesus Christ. And for any person who is involved in any type of crime, petty crime, stealing activities, serious fraud, organized crime gangs, if you are involved in any of these, stop right now. Stop right now. Jesus Christ has enough love and mercy and strength and grace to completely turn your life around. Jesus Christ cares very deeply about the lives of young people and even older people. He cares about the lives of, young pe of all human beings. It is not God's plan that anyone, excuse me, it is not God's plan for anyone to be trapped and ruined by crime and violence. And it is not God's plan for young people or older people to be trapped in a vicious cycle of violence and crime. Jesus Christ can break it. Turn to him. So for those who may be listening to this broadcast for the very first time, and you're not yet a Christian, and never really understood the gospel of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, if you've never really understood it, it's really about God giving you a chance to break the stronghold and cycle of violence and shame and embarrassment and hurt upon your life. So right where you are now, again, lay down your plans and make plans to commit to Jesus Christ. Make plans and give him a chance to give his plans for your life. Things will never, never.
never be the same in turning to Jesus Christ. He will break the bondage and snap those unseen chains that are holding your life down. Amen. So we've received the word of the Lord for today and it is challenging. Uh, it is encouraging and it is uplifting. So let us come together to the throne of grace, knowing that God delights to hear from his children. When we call upon the Lord, he will hear and he will answer. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you are God and you are God alone. You know all about us, you know all our challenges, you know the need of the nations of the world for you and Lord of every individual on this planet to receive you as Lord and Savior. So we pray now, Lord, that people will come uh, to know you in spirit and in truth, who to know is life everlasting. Father, we pray that as many as call upon the name of Jesus, their sins will be forgiven and their life will be changed to never be the same again. Bless your people, Lord, there are many different situations, whatever the need, whatever the circumstances. May your peace, may your love, may your joy be the experience of the saints of the living God and as many as turn to you we know Lord that you grant life everlasting and so we're thankful we're receiving we ask you to make us instruments of your service in Jesus name Amen and we're going to be dismissed as we say the grace together May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore.